Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm back with a new video today. I know it's been a long time since I posted last, but I do have another video, another dollar store video. Um, and if you haven't seen my videos before, basically what I do, I go to the dollar store, everything's a dollar obviously. What I do is I pick up stuff, it's not name brand, it looks like name brand stuff, but it's not. And I basically test it out to see if it's worth the dollar or not. Yeah, a lot of times it's just to see if it's edible or not, because some of this stuff is really questionable, especially today. Oh boy, I'm I'm excited for today. There's a lot of stuff here, but at the same time, I don't want to get sick, and today might be the day that happens. But anyway, guys, let's get started. I don't know why, but I always start with Rip It Energy Drink, and this is sugar-free. And I don't know if I need to pay more attention or if everything there is sugar-free, but... But sugar-free is fine with me. I don't care. We'll try it. It was good. I like it. By the way, I put this in the refrigerator beforehand, so it is cold. I can't drink this stuff warm, so it's... And it's not bad. It's citrus. Zero calories. Zero carbs. I'll take it. I mean, it's citrus energy drink. Nothing to say about that. I don't know. It... Is Ribbit even an off-brand? Let me know in the comments, because I've, I've seen it before, but I don't know if it's just at the dollar store that I've seen it. But I don't know. Anyway, Ribbit Energy Drink is fine. I'll put this over here, because I'm definitely going to need it for some of this stuff. I have Brimes Pork Rinds to start off with. A barbecue flavor. I'm a little skeptical here, because I'm looking at it, and it expired last week. So, I don't know. I'm still gonna try it. I mean, why not? I am not looking forward to this. Mm. That wasn't a good mmm either. <laughs> that was, these are definitely expired or they're just terrible to start with. Um, yeah, that was a bad call. Bad pickup on my part. Uh, if you have the chance to buy these at the dollar store, don't. And check the expiration dates. That's really important. I'm going to check everything here. So, yeah. These things, uh, I don't know. It just, they taste like rubber. It's like I'm chewing on expired rubber. <laughs> and that's not what I want for a snack. No. This is going in the trash pile or, I don't know. I'd feed it to my dog, but I don't think I'll eat it. All right, guys, next up from the same company, the Brimes, we have movie theater butter popcorn. Um, it says it's gluten-free, and if it tastes like movie theater popcorn, I'm behind it because it's hard to match that flavor. Obviously, it's not warm, so I like their motto, life is so delicious. I can tell you their pork rinds are not. It doesn't smell good. know what I've had worse but it's definitely buttery uh, I I don't know I gotta try it again it's actually too buttery believe it or not it's got too much butter on it it's yeah it, it's too buttery um does it taste like movie theater popcorn Maybe if you warmed it up, but just out of the bag? No, not really. <laughs> not really. No movie theater I've been to anyway. Oh yeah, by the way, it expires in two months. So this is good. Um, it'd probably take me two months to eat all this. I mean, if you're looking for a positive, it's, it's a lot of popcorn for a dollar. That's all I can say. It's not the most delicious thing I've ever had, but I guess if I was like really hungry, <laughs> I would go for this. Or if you need extra butter, this would be perfect. The Brimes gluten-free popcorn, I would pass. I would pass. Not off to a good start. Not doing well. All right, next up on my list, I bought Lance Toasty Sandwich Crackers. And I've, I've seen these before, I had these before, and not mess these up. These have to be good, and you get um, you get six of them for a dollar. Yeah, these expire three months from now, so we're good there. I have confidence in this one. This one's going to work. 
start with. They are definitely crushed in the package. Maybe that's why they are at the dollar store, but. So those aren't too bad. So the Lance Toasty sandwich crackers, uh, they're not bad at all. They, if you can get a package that isn't smashed, I guess pay attention to that. But yeah, like the quality of them is great. They're fresh, they're not stale. So uh, yeah, thumbs up for that. That's the, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the first good one I've had. Um, yeah, I would pick those up. I'd buy them again for sure. So guys, next product, again, there's no way to mess these up. These are like chewy bars. This is s'more flavor, basically oats and chocolate chips. It's very straightforward. This has to, as long as they're not expired. Um, yeah, we got a whole year on these things, so expectations are high. Not the easiest thing to open, I guess. They're well wrapped. So it says granola bar on the package. Which I figured. Oh, these are, oh, come on. I thought this was going to be a really good value, but that's the size, actual size. <laughs> yeah. They're not that bad. Um, the box is right. They're definitely chewy. Like, yeah, they're chewy for sure, but uh, they're not bad. I mean, they taste good. They're not stale, uh, pretty fresh. Um, you get six of them for a dollar. Um, yeah, I could get behind that. I'd buy these again. By the way, these are made by Select Choice. So, uh, the Select Choice Chewy Bars, uh, I'd give them a thumbs up. It's pretty good. Alright, next up is Benzel's Pretzel Rods. Another one that shouldn't be hard to mess up, if they're fresh. Uh, as long as these are not stale. Um, you got six months on these bad boys, so they should be fresh. Um, I'm about to find out, but... Like, if you like a lot of salt on pretzels, these are for you. Um, it's too much, too much in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't expect soft pretzels by any means, like I'm going to the pretzel shop, but these are like, not terrible, but Benzel's pretzel rods, um, I pro I'm probably not buying them again. Like I said, if you like a lot of salt on your pretzels, then go for it. They're at the dollar store. Go level. I need a second one of these. All right, so for dessert, I got Baker's Choice Chocolate Cream Cakes. They look like Hostess uh, Twinkies. Chocolate Twinkies, is that the thing? No, like these I'm, I'm least looking forward to. Um, these are hard to like, I gotta say these are hard to like be good. If these. If these taste anything like the package looks like they should, these are okay. By the way, you get five individually wrapped cakes. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't just throw them all in there together. These expire in six months, so they should be perfectly fresh. It says chocolate flavored sponge cake with cream filling. The presentation is good. They look not healthy, but they look like they would be good. You know what? I am pleasantly surprised. Like these are as advertised. Um, yeah, they're not bad at all. They got a good cream filling. They taste like chocolate. Um, yeah, heck yeah, this is a good deal. I can get behind this. The Baker Select Chocolate Cream Cakes. I give them a thumbs up. They're actually pretty good. They're as advertised. They're as the package looks. And uh, I'm going to say it's kind of a rare find. Rare find at the dollar store. So, yeah. That's all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really enjoy making these videos. So, if you have any suggestions, any comments, anything you want me to try, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. And please like, subscribe, and I will try to upload more. 
I will try to do better uploading videos. I've been really slacking lately. So um, anyway, guys, I will catch you next time. Thanks. I appreciate it.